What's good guys, if you need to make your ultimate team stronger, go to u7buy.com and buy yourself some cheap and reliable FC24 coins. Once you guys head over to u7buy.com, make sure to use my discount code DAN to get 6% off your next purchase on making that team better. Apart from FC coins, u7buy.com also provides more game services like top op mobile games, gift cards, game keys, etc. Click my link in the description and enjoy the cheapest prices now. Yo YouTube, what's going on? Welcome to another video to the channel, y'all boys. And today we're going to go ahead and review that 96 rated UEFA Euro. Pat the Glory, Mr. Pedri looking absolutely insane. We are looking at cards 5-9 on the height, high high work rates, 5 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot with that right foot. Acceleration type is controlled explosive. 92 pace, 85 shooting, 94 passing, 97 dribbling, 86 defending, 87 physicality as well. Now the play styles that Mr. Pedri comes with. Finish, shot, long ball, pass, a first touch, rapid, relentless, all on basic. The three play styles on gold are technical, incisive pass, and tiki-taka as well. Now, when you're looking at Mr. Petri, what's the chem style you want to give him? Well, you can either give him the anchor, you can give him the shadow, you can give him the hot chem. your style. It honestly completely depends where you're going to play him and how you're going to play him in game for today's video we are going to give him the hawk chemistry style and the main reason for that is that i really want to boost up pedri's physicality because the physicality is the main thing i do not like from pedri every single year in fifa so strength 94 aggression goes up to 84 as well excuse me strength goes up to 90 i'm tripping right there finishing goes up to 93 attack position gets maxed out shot power and long shots both go up to 92 acceleration 98 and sprint speed goes up to 95. Look at the passing category with the 99 vision, 99 short pass, and 96 long pass. Could this car potentially be the best passer in EFC 24? Look at the dribbling category. Everything in the dribbling category is 96 plus. That is just absolutely insane, boys. It might feel very nice, if not possibly the best dribbler as a midfielder in the FC 24, look at that. I expect him to be very, very responsive on the ball. Now, Mr. Pedri is going to be playing with this team right here. Shout out to the homie, Elements of God for lending us the account. We are gonna be using him in a 3-4-2-1 formation as a right DM right next to that Vieira. But for today's video, obviously, he's not gonna be playing as a stay back DM. We're mainly gonna be utilizing him as a box-to-box -box midfielder. I wanna see how his offensive capabilities is. At the same time, I do wanna see if he contributes a lot defensively because Pedri is usually not known for his defensive capabilities. He also has no defensive play styles, which is a little bit of an L, but nonetheless, we're going to play some games on foot champs and see what does this Pedri rank among the best midfielders in EFC 24 Ultimate Team. All right, here we go with game number one, and that's uh, a good team. Nothing, actually, never mind. That's a mid team. It's a really trash team. Solid ball control so far. What a ball to Cancelo. Wow. That is absolutely insane. Obviously, the sweat was there, but I wanted the assist for Mr. Pedri. Good start to the video. Pedri lays it out to Mbappe and another assist for the man from Spain. Little LBY to Mbappe. Nice ball. Once again, a beautiful ball. Oh, we got kind of hoed right there, but the passing so far is A1 from this Pedri. Ooh, clutch interception. All right, not bad. Showing a little bit of defense. Ooh, nice defensive tackle from Pedri. All right. So once again, Pedri showing he can play a little bit of defense. That's insane. That is just absolutely filthy. The composure from Pedri. Nice interception. Lays it up to Kylian Mbappe. Defense leading to the assist. Beautiful stuff right there. Never mind. Keeps on to the ball. Lays it up to Dybala. Yo, the playmaking. The playmaking on this Pedri, boys, top tier. 
nice little RBA right there. Just super clean on the ball, boys. Man, I sold. I thought Pedri was going to... I thought he was going to score that, bro. I sold. Oh, good try. That would have been an amazing assist. Nice interception. Nice job with the defense from Pedri. And a good pass out the back. Very nice defense once again. Nice, good tackle. Once again, a good defensive tackle for Mr. Pedri. A good layout to Bonmati, and that's gonna be an assist. Yo, Pedri's doing a good job performing amazing defensively and offensively. Good defensive tackle once again. The manual defending on this card is exceptional. I will say that. Oh yeah, look at that turn. Oof. Close one right there, close one. Test out the long ball pass. Not bad, not bad. Good defense, oof, that tackle. That was amazing. Test out the four star weak foot. Pedri with his first goal in today's video, boys. So far as a box to box, he's killing it. Oh, that's nice. I don't think Mbappe is offside. That's a beautiful play. What the fuck am I seeing? How does team in this season Mbappe miss it that badly? Once again, a good interception. This guy's obviously committed the foul, but I am liking his interceptions. I believe he has 90 interceptions, if I'm not mistaken. All oh, good link up between Lukaku and Pedri. Absolutely beautiful stuff. Once again, the amazing defending from this card. Nice shot, good defense. Good ball, what a ball to Dybala. That should be a red card, bro, like we were through. All right, boys, and that concludes the review for 96 rated UEFA Euro Path to Glory, Mr. Pedri. Coming out 680,000 coins. On the Xbox and PlayStation, 770,000 coins on the PC market. We played five games with the card, two goals, and five assists as a CDM or center mid in a 3-4-2-1 formation. Now, I will say this Pedri is very nice. I'm usually not too much of a Pedri fan until late in game once we're near footies, like once he gets a footies card. But this Path to Glory is very promising. And if Spain go far in the tournament... This Petri could potentially be a top 10 midfield in the game because he's so close. He's so close. He's just missing a little bit of that extra juice to be on the same level like a Bellingham, Pirlo, and those type of cards. But let's go over the pros with Mr. Pedri. Number one, he has high, high work rates, which are insane work rates for a box-to-box -box midfielder. Next is that he has five-star skill moves. I feel like at this stage of the game, double four is good for a midfielder. But if you're 5-4 or 4-5, that just puts you over the edge and you're automatically in the top tier percentage. And you guys know me, five-star skill moves, especially with someone with Pedri's type of dribbling, 97 dribbling. Everything in the dribbling category is 96 plus with that 97 agility and ball control and composure, 98 bounce. You already know this man Pedri is arguably the best dribbler in EFC 24 as a midfielder. He's up there with Bonmati. He's up there with Putellas. He's the real deal when it comes to the dribbling aspect. Not only is the dribbling insane with the dribbling stats, he has the technical play style on gold. So you already know that the RB slash R1 dribbling is going to be very overpowered whenever you go in a straight line. Not only is the dribbling insane with this card, 
the playmaking with the passing is top tier. You guys know KDB, Bruno, Modric, Putelas, Bonmati are top tier when it comes to the passing. Pedri is in that conversation. And size to pass on gold, Tiki Taka on gold, and long ball pass as well. 99 on the short pass, 99 on the vision, and 96 long pass as well. Like I said, playmaking with that four-star weak foot, absolutely amazing. And it makes sense why he had five assists in five games. Now, let's talk about the pace. The pace is actually really nice. This pace from Mr. Pedri, 94 acceleration going up to 98 and 91 sprint speed going up to 95 is absolutely insane. Not only offensively, but defensively. I do want to say defensively, he is very nice. Very unexpected stuff right there. I thought his defensiveness was not going to be super nice. I'm talking about manual defending because his defensive AI, if you don't select them manually, is not all that. But whenever you select your midfielders manually, if you love to do that, you're going to enjoy this Pedri because he does win every single one-on-one -on -one tackle. His interceptions, absolutely top tier. Even though he doesn't have a single defending play style, like I said before, defending with this card manually is very satisfying with that 90 interceptions, 94 stand tackling. 86 strength goes up to 90. 76 aggression goes up to 84 as well. So, like I said, even though Pedri is only 5'9 and he has a skinny body type in game, don't underestimate his tackling and his defending in general manually. He can definitely get the job done as a box-to-box -box midfielder. What I absolutely love from this card is that he has 97 stamina as well. So 97 stamina, whether you want to play this card as a box-to-box, -box, right center mid, or as a cam, he's definitely going to last you the whole game with that relentless play style on basic. Now, let's talk about the finishing with Mr. Pedri. I didn't take too many shots with this card because I mainly wanted to see how his physicality was, his defensive AI, manual defending in general, his playmaking, and his pace, you know? Obviously, 89 finishing going up to 93 is good. 97 attack positioning going up to 99. I will say his offensive AI with those high offensive work rates very satisfying stuff right there. But with the finishing, I mean, it goes up to 93. I feel like on the strong foot, he's going to be able to put in the back and net the majority of times inside the box. Don't expect this card to be on the same level like a Jude Bellingham or Rude Hulley when it comes to the finishing aspect. But at the same time, it's not terrible. The only cons from this card that you could say, well, maybe a few cons, is that he has no defending play styles. But like I said, Defending play styles is kind of irrelevant if you select your midfielders manually a lot. Number two, he's not double five. I know some people would like to use midfielders at this stage of the game that are double five, but I feel like five four is still amazing enough. And number three, his defensive AI with the 85 defense awareness is a little bit shaky if you do not select your midfielders manually. If you select them manually, you do not have to worry about the defense awareness. Now, 96 rated UEFA Euro Path to Glory Pedri is going to get thumbs up from me. Insane card. And he's going to get right now a 9 out of 10. As of right now, he's a 9 out of 10. Now, if Spain go far in the tournament, guys, keep a lookout. I might do a future player review because if he gets double 5 or an extra play style on gold, he could crack into that top 10 best midfielders in EFC 24. So... For those of you guys that love Pedri and FIFA, you guys better hope Spain do well in the tournament. But yeah, boys, thank you guys so much for the support on all the videos. You guys are absolutely amazing. The next videos we're going to go ahead and drop is maybe a uh, Pat the Glory Vardio. But today so far, it's this Pedri. And before this Pedri was that Lukaku video as well. Until next time, it's been your boy Dan FIFA. I am out. Bye-bye.